it. But uh, yeah, this is a filter bank power delay and reverb, as it says. Uh, it was from a startup company called Enjoy Electronics. As I mentioned, modular. Here's a sneak preview. I've brought the mothership down. Can you see that? Uh, QL400 adjustable studio mixer stand. Hey peeps, how you doing? Hope all is good, hope all is well. Another instalment, and today, oh, here's a toy that I've, <laughs> I'll do a review on it one day. Uh, this is the Reminder Power Delay. Sorry, I just picked it up to move it out of the way, but I thought, it's a bit dusty, sorry about that, apologies, I haven't cleaned it. I did use it last week, just playing around with it, but uh, yeah, this is a filter bank power delay and reverb, as it says. Uh, it was from a startup company called Enjoy Electronics, and yeah, it's, it's, it's powerful. Uh, you could use this on your DJ sets and in your studio and all sorts. Uh, powered by USB, so I wasn't meant to be doing a review on this, but might be worth covering. It's it's pretty powerful. I mean, in terms of what it's capable of, dry wet, dry mixes, wet mix feedback, fil the filter is 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 pretty amazing on here and how you can tr can control it it's a bit wild in fact uh compared to my modular it, it reminds me of the modular in the stuff that i can do oh by the way i'll show you that in a second uh well while i'm here while i'm here i might as well do a little little feature on this picked this up probably a couple of years ago i think um as i said it was a startup company and they were looking at uh funding their their product nicely built this has got let's see outs from this end it's got midi out midi through midi in two foot controls uh in left in right and four outs uh pretty good plenty of control and as i said midi it's got usb so it's usb powered uh, and i've plugged it into all sorts and it powers up nicely once it's on it, it does the job and then you can do your you can connect it via midi as well uh i haven't used it in anger i have to admit i just sporadically tried out a few few things uh probably because i've got a mixer up in the top corner my pioneer uh what version is that oh i can't remember uh djm 800 and that's got a whole load of built-in effects i i have relied on that in the past for doing anything but this if you're dj and you put the you plug plug this in and you got your outs coming into this and then you're controlling this as your uh, effects unit can do some amazing stuff so yeah at some point might do something live with it i was tempted to uh, shove it in the modular uh, or, or as an output but uh, as i said I'm, i've got tons of things in there already and i'm going to show you that so uh yeah i'll probably do a feature a usage feature on this uh, and show you what it's really capable of and the sort of dynamics that you can, can get on it at some point. But it's worth a look. It's worth a look. It's nice. Uh, enjoy. They, they, you know, good company. Uh, I think, I think it retails for 700. I'll, I'll get the exact price. I'll dump it in the comments somewhere or put it up in the corner of the screen. Uh, but I think it's in and around 700. Because I saw this in Sound and Sound advertised uh, I think in the latest edition, May June, uh, it, it, uh, it was in there. But yeah, uh, and I'll do I'll do a review on it as I've seen it here, and I brought it down to the studio a couple of weeks ago, as I said. Uh, and yeah, I just parked it here. At some point, I'll be giving it a good going over. And that's it. Sorry, quick feature. Enjoy, uh, enjoy electronics, guys. Uh, did a wonderful job on the build. It's got some good weight to it. Solid device. Nicely built. That's what I like. Solid stuff. As I mentioned, modular. Here's a sneak preview. I've brought the mothership down. Because I've got a sneaky suspicion that I'll be use it, using it here more than at home. And uh, my smaller rig, I've sold off my excess components and the other bits and pieces I've got 
uh, in a box, which I will swap in and out of this one. But yeah, I'm going to be connecting this up at some point and giving you a, a good little feature on this. That'll be a good one. Um, should I fit it in this one? Don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how this progresses. But anyway, just thought I'd show you. There you go. That is the one I've been talking about for a little while now. That's that's my mothership. And it's in that particular arc, uh, configuration. Most of it has been like that for a while. Uh, the majority have uh, been in place. Uh, it, it moved around a lot. And it, as we as you know, with most modular uh, kits, when you've got them, you, you change a lot. And it's just one of those things. But in terms of how it is now, that incarnation has been pretty, uh, pretty standard. Uh, I've just, what did I have in here? I did sell a unit. Because remember in, I said I got my, what drum machine is it? MPC 3000, which hasn't come back yet. And it's still off for customization. And I sold a couple of mod modules off here that I, I weren't using. My ER301, uh, is it called? Yeah, ER301. And that's sold within less than an hour, maybe 30 minutes. And uh, It's not that I priced it cheaply. It's just a, a unit that you really can't get. But I have to admit, I wasn't maximizing the use out of it. And I thought about my rack. And I like the hands-on control of these modules i turn knobs and it's, a, it's essentially a sound computer it's very good if you've got a mobile rig then you know for one device that you can chain effects and all that kind of stuff it will do the job but i i just found even though i paid you know the retail price for it I just wasn't using it so i thought okay what do i want that i really will use and obviously the 3000 came up and i got that so I thought I need to offset a couple of devices to, to bring down the cost, and I did. So, yeah, it's uh, and but yeah, coming back to this, my favourite in here. Oh, there's loads, there's loads. Uh, I love the Morpheus, uh, Rossum Electronics sitting there nicely. Morpheus Control Forge, you can do amazing stuff with those. Love them. The filters on the, on the Morpheus are absolutely. Let me get a little bit closer. On the Morpheus are amazing. The the control forge you can do a ton of stuff elements i i use a lot rings is probably my starting point for anything when i'm patching i love rings the resonator on there you can just it's just so flexible it, I, I, absolutely brilliant and you've got the performer uh modular by beat people well done guys uh don't worry you i've i'll be ordering some other bits from you. I need the oscillator that you've got because uh, it, it is it'll it's it's coming. Don't worry. And then I've got uh, Eloquenza sitting in there alongside uh, clouds, marbles, and everything else. Circadian rhythms is a is a fixture, and Rainmaker is a fixture as well for signal processing. The uh, ZDSP from Tip Top is great. The taper graphic de delay is wild. And so is the looping delay from, I've forgotten their names now. Come to me in a sec. And that's it. Yeah, but I'll, I'll do a, a, a good one on this. I'll do a good good review on, on my modular set. So, as I have got uh, a number of workstations, not workstations, uh, sampling drum machines and all that. Right, this is what I've got. So I've brought them in. To the lab got push there sitting in the corner i've got the s2400 sitting there in this corner i've got the mpcx which at the moment i'm talking to akai to get a few things resolved on there i've got a ticket open and they're solving a few problems for me so uh stay tuned for the outcome of that one and down here I've got my Machina Studio. I haven't got the standalone. I've still got the studio. Um, good enough for me at the moment. Don't need anything else uh, for now. And I've got my M Audio keyboard, which gets a look in now and then. But I do a lot of the stuff on the push. So, yeah, the desktop, the desk is uh, it's quite full. Uh, it w wasn't planned to be like this, but 
uh, because of some of the, the, the EP that I'm working on, some projects, I thought I'd just go, I'll bring everything down here and it's, uh, it's, it's there in one place. Uh, but yeah, I needed a stand. I was watching a video the other day on the MPC 4000 of this guy who has customized his MPC 4000. And I looked at it and then he said, oh yeah, I've just got this stand. And I looked at the stand, I went, that's what I need. I've been after one. I saw EA Ski with a, a, a stand which he uses for his, his MPCs. And I think it might be similar. So shout out to EA Ski. Does amazing videos, amazing producer. Uh, yeah, very, very good. Old school hip hop head. Check him out, EA Ski. I'll put a link somewhere to him. But I needed a stand and here it is. Can you see that? Uh, QL400 adjustable studio mixer stand. So is this one, it's got a little rip. And there you go. So, they've got a mixer on here. Oh, actually, I just thought something else. You never know, I might end up with two of these. I'll explain that later. I'm gonna put a drum machine on that. I can put any of, I can put the S2400 or my MPCX once it's, it's, it's up and running on here and uh, put it in the corner and just have it there so I can move it around and have this for my place for production. So I'm gonna be putting this together. Once it's up and running, I'll come back to you. Okay guys, speak soon. stuff uh i've got a few quick lock items um this sorry i'll just scoop this around a little bit i'm fairly certain this is quick lock i have i i'm not even sure how long i've had this i mean it looks old doesn't it probably 90s yeah somewhere in there i'm not sure I'm not sure when, it's probably late 90s actually, because I think I had this in my first flat uh, apartment. And I had four of them, so they're stacked. And then just let's tilt this forward so you can see that there's a groove here, so you can stack them. That's the top section, and there's a bottom section with wheels. Looks a little bit old fashioned, obviously, but this an, it's an old, uh, well, I'll tell you, rock, rock solid. Uh, 19 inch rack mount unit, so I've got, uh, You've seen this before, but yeah, you can see that I've just got my units racked up in here. I could put them in a desk, but the advantage of putting them there is I can just turn around, tweak, it's within arm's reach, and it frees me up to still focus on the screen and, and everything else. So yeah, quick advert for quick lock there. And, and then my latest quick lock um, tool. Nice stand, it's solid, nice wheels. It's, a, it's got the casters like uh, you'd see on a chair, basically. Uh, quite, it's quite solid. Where is it? Here we go. So it's, yeah, it's neat. You can see it sits on. I like it, neat. So I've just put my Renaissance on there uh, as it was just sitting on the shelf on the keyboard rack just wanted to see how it fit and yeah so if you're sitting in your chair and uh i just wanted to turn around and 
Actually, I think this will work quite well. And this would work for my, I need to check the width on it. Uh, I, I, I'll check the, check the box to see how wide it can go. Because if I can fit my modular, my mobile modular case in here, that would be ideal. Because then I could just take it out with me and well, um, or if I've got it in the, in, in the lab, expand it out, sit the case on there, then I can do I can do a, a modular uh, a modular session with, with with it on here. That should work quite well. Even though I could put it up in the rack, but sometimes you want to just access the rack for different things. But if it could fit in this, that would be useful. So I've got one. Got a feeling I might get two. Uh, just that kind of device. I can have a drum machine sitting in one, and I can have a modular. Uh, sitting in the in, in the next one who knows but yeah what do you think it looks, it looks good I, I, sorry I know I, 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 I searched online um, and I didn't put in quick clock I have to admit but uh, just for uh, uh, amplifier stand and various ones came up and I remember one came up a little while ago and I, and I purchased it uh, it's, it's useful, but it's it really is an amp. It's a it's a guitar amp stand, and it's quite low. It faces upwards. Uh, I've put a couple of things in it, but it didn't sit right. And I, well, it sat right, but it didn't it didn't give me what I was after. But this is perfect. So, uh, shout out to can't remember his name who did the um, MPC uh, four thousand customization review comments. Yeah, 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 maybe one of those. I'll put his name up there. You can check out his customization of his MPC 4000. I wasn't a fan of the 4000, not because of anything that is done or not done. Just didn't know much about it. I've always known about the, four, the, the 3000. And as you can see, I'm just waiting for mine to come back. So uh, it, it, I'm, I'm hoping it'll be back soon. Well, you know what? Sometimes it's uh, good things take a little bit longer so I just have to wait for it to come and fully customized with all the pads and everything else and 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 tweaked and and serviced and tuned and and ready to go so then I can just put it straight in here uh but uh yeah the 4000 it looks good it looks good uh I, and the only thing I've heard is is it's it's in terms of functionality is probably the best the the potentially the best mp uh, mpc there is in terms of features, functions, and everything that goes into it, uh, and as I said, I'm 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 not an expert on the four thousand, I'm not an expert on the three thousand, but I understand the three thousand. I know what it sounds like. I know what it can do. But uh, just going through uh, people that I follow, especially on on Instagram, EA Ski. Um, I mean, he's got everything. Uh, shout out to EA Ski again. He's he he has sworn by the four thousand in the past that it is an absolutely amazing machine and his trusted device. And I've watched him uh, create tracks on there, put it into his analog mixer uh, and just on YouTube and just got your headphones and you can hear. Um, he's very much a, 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 a very much focused on sound and, and, and quality of sound. So I respect him a lot. Uh, he, he's just sonically, he's... He's he's out there. Uh, I just you know sheer the sheer quality of, of of sound. So if he says something's good, then you've got to kind of check it and go. It probably is. It, it, it probably is. So yeah, I, I don't know if I'll get one. I, do I need one? I I probably don't. Would I want one? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I've got MPC X. So as I said, it needs the little repair. I, no matter what happens, I'm going to get it repaired somehow. Because, uh, you know, I mean, for its functionality and what it could... Yeah, the sound is is clean and pristine. It's fine. I mean, I've got other things which aren't clean and pristine. So having that there to do what it does um, as as a clean and pristine sound, as an MPC, I'm, I'm good with. You can dirty it up. I can run it through other devices and, and create the sounds that I want. I can dirty it up in a modular. Well, not that modular is dirty, it's analog. Um, I can run stuff through my S2400 if I want to change it. Uh, I, 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 I've got options. 
but um, it's not something that I, I, I'm going to find a way. Hopefully, Ak Akai will come back to me. I've sent them videos. So shout out to Akai to, for reaching out to me and asking for what, what the issues are, what the errors are. And I need to just follow up. I sent them all the videos that I've, I've made on the um, MPCX uh, in terms of the issues. So it may take a little while, but I'll get it done. I'm, I'm not con concerned as such. Uh, whatever it costs to do, um, I'll just get it fixed. Um, it's out of warranty, unfortunately. I should have sent it. Didn't quite hit the warranty window, but uh, it it will get done. Sorry, I'm just, I'm I'm talking about it, and, and and there it is, sitting there nicely, looking looking happy, but not powered on. <laughs> so I'll come back to that. This works, MPC Renaissance, so got no issues there. Remember, I, I think in previous videos, I've said it had a, an issue or two. I, I upgraded the software on on, M, uh, on, on, on on MPC on the computer, put this up, and this is this is working fine. So no matter what happened, I've got... And the pads, you know what? I, I, I have a feeling, I might be wrong, this will become a future classic. And not necessarily because of how it sounds, which is probably not as clean as the MPC X, and I remember uh, who was it? Who was it? Uh, Ricky Tinez. Shout out to Ricky Tinez. I watch all your videos. He has got a, a good collection of MPCs, and he said, obviously, the newer you get, the more features you get, the cleaner it gets, and it's true. So this is the Renaissance is a clean machine uh and it's an all-rounder it will it will it will do the job uh, uh but i think because of the screen it's got the old look the color it's going to and it's the last of that type it will become a, a, i i might be wrong don't shoot me but i reckon it'll become a classic somewhere down the line uh, it's just because it, it's got that, that look and it still connects to the computer and you can still do everything on, on which you can you can hook it up to the computer and do all all the things you need to do. Yeah, it hasn't got all the effects and all that kind. Well, it's got so, hasn't got all those features that you'd get on the MPCX and all the new devices, fine. But if you want that quick workflow as a classic MPC, you can do it in here and you can still work in the computer. So it's that it was that transfer over to connecting your MPC to a computer and being able to work in the box and outside of the box as well. Um, obviously, it's not standalone, but it's it's it's. it's I was I, it was sitting there not being used as much, and I cleaned it up, um, and uh, it, I've got it down here. So yeah, it 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 does a job. It will get it will get used in many ways. So yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I should be advertising the stand. Quick lock, good stand. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm impressed. It's nice. Turn it round. It it does everything. It's it's fully adjustable. It's solid, and uh, yeah, I'll be using this in the future. So yeah, I, it won't be just one machine. We'll be going in that I can put it somewhere where I can swap in and out and wheel it around and connect it to whatever I want. So it's it's going to be quite flexible in that respect. I, I, I'm looking forward to getting a use. I just wanted to show it show it uh, and and share that with you. Uh, in and and shout out for all the recommendations on this thing. Uh, yeah, next purchase. Mm. Uh, I'm, I might am I suffering from gear acquisition syndrome? Not as bad because at least now I do trade offs. So if I buy something, I have to justify it because I, I I feel that I need to sell something. Uh, the only thing which I think that I'd like again is an S nine fifty. I know I've talked about the MPC. I have been, I still look at the MPC 12, MPC 1200s. I, I'm on eBay. I, I, I do, you know, I, I, I watch them as they're being sold and I'm tempted a few times, but uh, uh, the S2400 for me at the moment is my tool, my go-to tool. Uh, I don't know. I can, I can only think of two other things that I, I will look at down the line and S950, probably more ahead of the others and uh, uh but it's just being able to it's just knowing that you have that that 
SP1200 or 12. I looked at the 12, but I wasn't, I just felt that the lack of disc access and stuff, I was just not too sure. And uh, yeah, I know you can save it for, I know you, you get that gritty sound, that crunchy sound, uh, but uh, yeah, it'll probably be the 1200. Rossum one? Don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I haven't got the spare cash at the moment to be able to splash out and anything like that. So um, I'll just have to sit tight for 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 the moment. So uh, yeah, just waiting for some my my three thousand to come back, and I'll I'll pick it up from there. But for the moment, we've got the stand. I can utilize it, and it's just to give it gives me the flexibility in the studio to shift things around a bit and do what I need to do. So uh, yeah, next feature will probably be modular. I'll do a quick, I say quick, I doubt if it'd be quick once I start talking about that thing, but that might be an intensive one. What I'll do is uh, I might do a live patch and get it going. Uh, I've always got the drums connected. So I've got the squid sal sample, S-A-L-M-P-L-E. That's always connected to the circadian rhythms, rhythms and that is my default. If you've got no drum machine, drum drum sounds, and you want something, listen, that squid is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I had individual modules before. I still got the uh, Tip Top Audio uh, 808 and two 808s in here so I can tweak them. Uh, and I've got, is that it? Yeah, then they, I've got the squid sample for sample sounds what i like is the bit rates adjustable you can adjust it down to like one bit it's it's crazy it brilliant hook that up to a circadian rhythms and you've got your drum machine in there so i don't actually need anything else i could do everything off that one rig internally just by uh utilizing uh, those that that particular patch then i've got a mix out here and that feeds off would feed off up here into the mixology qubit in mixology and frames i've got i've had these two for for a very long time and then they go off into a uh, uh, mst a uh, stereo out i got a feeling that might come out and be replaced by the uh beat people outs because it gives slightly different feature so uh shout out to corey how you doing? Hope all is well and we will catch up soon. But yeah, I'll be placing some orders with you at some point. So that's the modular, but I'll go into that in further detail at some point. Just wait to show you what the rig look like and why I bought that size years ago. Uh, it's not a cheap case, but I saw a video on YouTube and I saw it being performed live um, on a rooftop. And I said, I want one of them. And I had a cup. I had a hand-built case before, but I thought it just what I the the way in which it it just I just loved it. Just it, and I've performed live with it. Um, I'll put a link up if required. Anyway, that's it for the minute. Video is a little bit longer than I expected it to be, but speak soon. Currently working on a mix project. Uh, my EP's up there, and I will. You want sneak preview? Sage, what's going on? That's it. Not getting any more than that. Speak soon. Have a good day.